Good afternoon, good evening, good morning. Fellow dear friends, I bring you greetings from the Republic of Ireland. I say may God Almighty keep each and every one of us and protect us and bless us. Most importantly, I bring these greetings to our leader, Mahamadike Mazin and the Kano. The Lion of Biafra land, whom God has brought to us to give us the redemption of Biafra. We can't thank him enough. A lot of people are envious, a lot of people are angry, a lot of people don't like when we give him names. But they have no choice, rather to accept it the way it is. I say may God Almighty bless him and the wife and the children. We have seen a lot of things that he has done. We have seen how he is using the truth according to his word to dismantle the Zoo Republic. We bless the name of the Lord on his behalf. And I pray that the Almighty God continue to bless him and continue to keep him. Nothing will happen to him until he leads us to that promised land. I also extend this greeting to Mazi Ucheme Four. He's a faithful servant of the great people of Biafra. There is a lot of people who even we claim or claim that they are intellectual more than them. But they derailed on the way. They were not able to make it to the end because of long throat. But while our leader was in Kuje prison, incarcerated, Mazi Mefo was there without looking back, without looking for any crumb that would fall from the master's table. He continued to paddle the ship until the day that our leader came out from the prison. So we thank, I thank him, and I thank all the principal officers in the Biafran land, across the globe, those who have dedicated their life, because the, the gospel of Biafra, the gospel of restoration of Biafra is not, is not something that everybody can do. I, I mean, it is not something anyone can do. It is a spiritual warfare. If God open your eye for you to see the magnitude, numerous, multitude of elements of forces of darkness that are chasing and trying to counter our effort, you will thank Mazen and the Kano Demo and you, you will have every reason to praise the name of the Lord that we are even alive today. But we say to Elohim, may his name be highly exalted. I want to also use this opportunity to thank every Biafra. It doesn't matter whether you are uh, Mazikano or you are Mefo. Everybody is important. Your prayer alone, you know your prayer, the prayer you pray, for Maze Kano, Maze Mefo, and other principal officers is a collective effort that all of us, your own contribution is, matters a lot. So you are important as long as you are supporting this restoration of Biafra. We all shall together enter into Jubilee, the day of Jubilee when the trumpet shall sound and we will march on the streets of Biafra and the world 
we tremble that very day. So I say, may God bless you as well. May God keep you. May God protect you until the day we are going to march into that holy land. Brothers and sisters, today I have an important issue which I wanted to, I scheduled to do it yesterday, to do this program yesterday. But some difficulty that I was facing with the, this internet and IT something and the software that we are using to do this program sometimes. You think you know it all, you don't master it the next day, it creates problem for you. But I tried, I scheduled the program and I put time. But when the time reached, I was struggling and struggling and struggling. I could not be able to do anything. I was like frustrated completely. At the time it was on and I was talking for more than one hour, but eventually when I ended, I didn't see that video. That video was not in YouTube. It's a live video that's supposed to upload automatically, but it did not happen. But I thank God, I, I decided that today, because this very discussion of today is very vital. It is an important something. And today is all about the information I got. People were calling me, testing me, asking me what is going on. I say, what is the problem? They say, have you seen the video that Mazi Mefo have done? I say, I have not seen it. I asked them, they say, okay, I will send to you and uh, you will watch it yourself and make sense of it and tell me uh, tell me some people say tell me what you make of it some people argue on different issues that's not what i want to talk about but it is very vital that we address this issue and uh, it, i know actually that this problem has been resolved because i saw me for the next day in live broadcast, so I was happy. I want you to understand that each and every time that anything happens to this Biafran struggle, and uh, a lot of people's heart trembles, people's heart fail them when mostly when they see a key person fall victim or become a, a have problem with our leader, people tremble because everybody is trusting and focusing that this Biafra, that we are going to get it. Nobody, I, I bet you, even brothers and sisters that are Igbo people or that are from the Eastern Nigeria, who are not part of IPOB, who does not do any contribution to the struggle, they are listening to the radio and when things happen, even though they are not part of it actively, they will call and say, Brother, what is going on? Uh, let this thing not be true. Let this thing not happen. No, they should not go this way. So you see that a lot of people are concerned, but there are people who are in forefront, people like you, people like me, that always use our channel or medium that we have to project the image of this Biafra. We talk about it, we discuss about it everywhere we go. I'm proud of it, I'm bold to speak about Biafra. Ask me where I came from. I say I am from Biafra. Where is the Biafra? Has it been a country? I say it, has, it was a country before Britain came in and dismantled us, and it's still going to be a nation very soon. So I'm proud of it. So you see why I'm telling you this, that a lot of people is concerned. They are concerned about this struggle. And let me tell you again, Nigeria has completely collapsed and Nigeria is irredeemable and there is no remedy for Nigeria. The blood of innocent people that are they are shedding on daily basis, they are not going to go scot-free. The Lord Almighty is hearing the voice of the voiceless, the, the people that they killed with impunity, cold-blooded, God is angry with them, and the prayers of people we are rendering curses upon the Asarok, upon everybody that is there. They have never seen something. God vowed and said that I will go after these people, even if after I use them to 
teach my children lesson, I will go after them and I will tell them that I am the one who create, who make life, who destroy. Life and death is in my hand. The Northern Nigeria have not seen something. I'm telling you the truth. The Yorubas that, uh, the, those, not every one of them, those that are in the business of strangulating the business of the evils, uh, destroying shop, giving over charge, demanding payment that is unnecessary, coming up with a new, new, new system of uh, extortion of money, they will all pay back. God, he said, I am a consuming fire. That's what God said. I am a consuming fire. I will repay, and I will repay to the end. He said, instead of his word not come to pass, the heaven and earth will pass away, but that his word will remain stand. So he said that these people that are chasing after his children, treating his children, striping off money from them, when he finishes, he's going back. So I am telling them they never know what they are doing. But let us go to the business of the day. I want to use this opportunity to thank you. As you are watching, every one of you that are watching me, all my friends, I want to say I love all of you and I pray for all of you that all of us, by the special grace of God, will enter into that kingdom of God here on earth, which is called Biafra. So I said, please share this video right now. You can copy the link. You can share it to our brothers and sisters all over the world. Share it. Begin to share this. I want people to join us because this very time we are discussing important issue that the enemy is wanting to use as a means of putting trouble in our midst. But God Almighty have averted is a very uh, uh, pl plot of the enemy. Share this video. This is live video. We are broadcasting live from the Republic of Ireland. The time now is 15, 18, that three, uh, 18 minutes after 3 p.m. So we are now going to go into the main discussion. The main discussion is about the the argument between Mazim F4 and uh, Mazi Nandekano, our leader, Ahamadike one. A lot of people uh, is not happy anyway. A lot of people also said they understand what he said, the area he was going, why he made the comment he made, so, you know, people have different perception. My own perception is different from your own perception. If, what, if somebody speak a word, people can give that word hundreds of thousands of meaning and interpretation. It's just like the same thing with the human eyes. The eye, the perception of the eye, the way we see something the retina in your eye, the way it focuses into something, the way you see a vision is different from the way people, other person see a vision. One single thing can be shown as a picture. Your eye, people's eye, we perceive that thing in different shape. If you ask them, 100 people that look at a particular object, they are going to see different ego out of that picture that's the way it is and that is human life we are not the same but we can help each other when misunderstanding occur like this like i think what happened the day that our leader made that broadcast is a misinterpretation to my own understanding is a misinterpretation of what he was trying to say and how the people, the listeners, be able to perceive what or articulate to what he has to reason, what he was, where he was going, what 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 he's trying to make out of his own narratives about the church, about Christians. Myself, 
I've been in the, I, I was grown up in deeper life. In fact, deeper life was where I was inaugurated as an evangelist, right? And uh, I worshiped in deeper life for over seven years. I've been in the redeemed, but it, when I, the redeem is when I came to this country, I worshiped with the dream, redeemed for 12 months because there was no other church. It's a Pentecostal church. I decided to go there, me and my family. So, as a Christian, if we see church, we go to church. But my own understanding about Christianity and uh, the behavior of the people or so-called men of God or women of God is different from even some people who I was converted together with them. My exposure, my you know, you cannot compare yourself with somebody who is in Nigeria. As long as you are in overseas country, you have been in a, an advanced civilized nation. Your perception, your reasoning, your understanding of everything differs from those people in Nigeria. There are some people who are graduates in Nigeria. I mean graduates. They don't know nothing. They know nothing. I'm telling you, they know nothing. Uh, listen, speaking English is not even understanding the English. English, one single word in English have hundreds of meanings. And those meanings have uh, different modalities that you are going to use them. If you, you, that's why when we speak sometimes, we say something, it's English language, but white person misunderstood you. Why? Because if they know this language better than us, the moment you speak something, it echoes into their ear. They, they try to reason it immediately with what they know, and it doesn't equate. They say, pardon, I don't, you can be talking from now to tomorrow, you say, eh, can you come again? It's very difficult for them to understand, but for us, it, it, because we learn with the pidgin English combined with the grammar, we'll be able to differentiate, we'll be able to understand more, is hear more easily than them. So, when somebody project or say something, people perception, people reasoning, people understand is different. That's what I'm trying to make. Someone who have been here 10 years, if you go to Nigeria, your reason is different from those people there. Your mentality have changed. The way you reason, the, something that is acceptable there and something that is not acceptable here, you can be able to see that people see in you that you are different, completely different, because you are not reasoning like them again. So let us go to the issue of the day. What we are talking about today is about Mazen Nandekano, because I watched the video, they sent me the video, and I watched the video, three people sent me the video, and I watched it, and it's the same video, there's nothing different there. So, Mazen Nandekano said something about the church, and about leaders in the church. To my own understanding, he said, he started saying that, how can men of God or somebody who is a man of God, not knowing the small boy, that small boy that is in Asorok, are they telling them, are they telling him that they are blind? Are they telling him that they don't understand? Are they telling him that they don't have knowledge of this thing that is going on? Why are they concealing this evil? He now began to say that these men are evil. They are wicked. He said, what is the need of going to the church and sit down to listen to these men who are men of dishonor? These men, they are not worthy. He said that even in that very church, there is no God there, that God is not in that church. Why? He's saying it based on the attitude of those men of God. It's not that. I, I, I know that he is very skeptic about church and Christ. But when somebody is saying the truth, you have to listen to that truth. That is what will make you a reasonable human being. 
somebody who can reason and that's why some people brought out the method which we call we use in finding falsehood in written word spoken word when somebody wants to trick you logic is something that you can use to prove to somebody beyond reasonable doubt of something that is truthful if there is falsehood you will see that you'll be able to detect falsehood now let's look at into what he was saying these men of god are there they even kill their members butcher their member burn churches they are not saying anything they are not doing anything some of them have entered into Asherok and came out. You know, W.F. Kumi, you know, Baba W. These are notoriously people who have gone and Tunde Bakere, who has been a politician, but uh, he claimed to be a pastor. You know how they feature there, how they go there, they take picture with the president when they have their inner caucus meeting and come out. Why is it that they are entering into us rock as a, as a advisors, as a minister, as an encourager, as, as an icon of the society? He says that it is the pastors who are supposed to be defending the poor and the marginalized. But why is it that these pastors are now complacent? They don't speak out. They don't challenge things that are happening. They only close their mouth. That's what he was saying. At a point, he busted and said, if any one of you are following this man of God are going to that church, all of you that are going to church, you will go to hell. He's not saying, I don't understand it in that way. Brother argue with me, I say, he generalized. And uh, I don't want to argue with him. I say, okay, no problem. But my own perception is that starting from his narrative, before he came to the point where he said, if anybody is going to church, he will go to hell. You have to understand the point he made, right? Before he reached to the level where he made that universal language, that's, it, that's why it is not good to use a, you know, we call it universal language. But in a simple term, they call it a, a generalization universal language you say when you say like all men all christian even if it's an indian christian american christian ethiopian christian that they will all go to hell that means there is no person you see as a genuine children of god it is wrong but i want Everybody who took offense, myself, I was watching him. I watched only 30 minutes that very day, to be frank. Only between 25 minutes and 30 minutes, I off my listen, I quit. Why? The reason why I quit, I don't want to listen that very day, the broadcast of that day. He was talking about James, he started talking about James and talking about Paul of Tarsus. He said that Paul is a Turkish person that is not a Jew. And uh, talk about, try to make emphasis of James, the brother of Jesus. The reason why of the, of the, 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 that broadcast and went to bed is because as a theologian, what he was saying was not exactly the way it is is wrong the wrongness is that paul the apostle is a jew born a jew paul the apostle paul is a philosopher if you people don't know not because he wrote he he is wrote many uh, uh bible and uh, many gospel of the bible no he's a lawyer he's an educated person he was born a jew rear up as a Jew and also has like me 
a Roman citizenship, like me, have Irish citizenship. So I can claim to be an Irish, but by citizenship, not by birth. Paul is not from Turkey. Paul of Tarsus. If you like, go and Google Paul of Tarsus. It is a, a very popular man, one of the disciples of Jesus. Right? The reason why he was called Paul of Tarsus is his base. His base. Where he live. You can say, oh, Barnabas of Cork. Somebody in Dublin. My, people might be discussing about me and there are so many Barnabas. And you say, you reference to me as Barnabas of Cork. Does not mean that I am, I am a Corkish person. I am a Biafran, Irish citizen by naturalization. You see, sometimes when Paul was having case with the people, Paul will say that I am a Jew, born of Jew, raised by Jewish, which is the truth. In another point, when a centurion slapped him while he was taken to Rome, he said, why, who... How dare you, you raise up your hand and slap a Roman citizen? The man said, ah, because in the room there is a law that a citizen you can never humiliate or maltreat him. No. The man went to the centurion and said, be careful what you do to this man. He is a Roman citizen. You see, in another way, another place he come and tell the Pharisees and Sadducees. I'm just telling you what is in the Bible. And this is where we get the information. The Sadducees, they were trying to kill Paul. Some people want to kill Paul. Some people say he's a good man. Some people say he's not a good man. And Paul said, I am a Pharisee, born of a Pharisee, raised by a Pharisee. So he created He's a lawyer, he's a technical man. He created division between the two belief. Pharisees, some of them, they believe that there is, there is life after death. Some people say there is no life after death. So now, Paul used his technical analogies or technical terms to, to create an atmosphere of safety for himself. But he is a Pharisee. He is... So he's a Roman, he's a Jewish man. If not, why is it, is it that they allow him to come into the synagogue? A Roman guy, you cannot dare to enter into Jewish synagogue. Jesus, why Jesus enter into synagogue? If Jesus is not a Jew, they will not accept him to come into synagogue, talk of coming to preach to them. So I'm just trying to tell you what made me angry that very day that he was saying what he doesn't know about. Frankly, so I just close and work up and walk away. So, but the issue of he said all Christians will go to hell. I don't. It is not what he said because from his from the beginning of his narrative, the story he was telling us. It, it, in fact, it was not a story. It was a complaint, a very expressing his anger bitterness of how men are so wicked even carrying bible calling yourself a pastor do you understand so it is a misconception to me completely it's not something that we will fall out with each other no but if he's saying like jesus is a european idol jesus is not a jewish person Jesus is not the son of God. That one, I will not accept that one as a Christian. I will not accept it. I will not agree with him. Or every, some of the things our leader says sometimes, he says things he knows about history. He, he explained to us. But the issue of religion, if I may advise, if I may advise him, I would want him to stop using general terms or universal language in the issue of religion because according to Emmanuel Kent he says 
religion and faith is a private matter. Did you hear what I said? Religion and faith, it is a private matter. How is it a private matter? For example, Moses. Let me make reference of Moses. Guarding the sheep of his father-in-law, Jethro. And they went on the mountain, Sinai, or Martin Horeb, whichever one. I don't know the particular mountain now. And uh, I think it's a mountain, Sinai. Yes, it's a mountain, Sinai. And he saw a burning bush. The, the bush burned, but the leaves is not ablazed. It's not consumed by the fire. And he, he wanted to turn with a, an incantative formula as an Egyptian who knew the science of uh, how mysteries work. He had a voice. Say, remove your shoe, for the, where you stand it is a unholy land, unholy ground, I mean. And Moses removed his shoe and asked, Lord, who are you? He said, I am God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Remember, nobody was with him that very time. That's why Emmanuel can say is a private matter. Religion is a private issue. He received this revelation alone. Alone. And uh, he went, took up the mantle to go to Egypt to do what the voice he had. Remember, he did not see the man who spoke to him or the person who spoke, only the voice. He began to follow that voice. It was that voice that he was following that made me and you today to still claim that we are Jewish, that we are Hebrews. We are still following the vision of that Moses. Now, tell me, did uh, Pharaoh of Egypt, or can Pharaoh of Egypt in any manner convince Moses and say, we, because he was questioned, who is your God? I don't know this God, and I don't know this God. You, you people will serve me to the end. I don't recognize the God you are talking about. For him, it's a bullshit for him, to, for you. You know, a, a whole pharaoh, the first empire in the world. The strongest man. You tell him there is a God, that God told you something in the mountain which he was not there, nobody was there with you. It was a vision, a revelation, privately given to Moses. In all the gimmicks, all the actions that Pharaoh of Egypt took, did it change the mind of Moses? No, Moses was so much convinced that this, this voice that spoke to him it's not a joke. It's not. It's not childish. It's not a childish something. If you dare try to stop Moses, what will he do? He will kill you. And what happened between him and Egyptian? Moses killed every first child of what Egypt because of what they want to stop his vision that he saw. Why is the Muslims? Sometimes being angry with you. Why? They are angry because they believe that the, their own religion is very strong. That they are children of God. They are ready to die for their God. They will sacrifice everything, sacrificeable to make sure that somebody does not ridicule their God. You see how, how they put themselves. This is the same thing when somebody said, if it was what he said, every Christian 
will go to hell. It is wrong. But I am telling you, that was not what he said, because you have to begin from the beginning of his story until the time he was, he burst out. You know, this thing we are doing here, sometimes you will even write things you want to say. Some, when you start talking, you don't even remember looking at the list of your points to make use of them. Sometimes you will be saying you will be emotionally out of control to say something that you, even after watching that video yourself, you go and watch your video, you may not like. And there are so many videos that I've made, hundreds of videos. When I watch it, I, I delete the video. I destroy it. The reason why I'm doing it is because I don't have a, a video editing. And I have, if my children are here and they know how all the technicality of this, I will tell them to edit it for me and remove. But because I don't have, I will delete the video. Why? Because I know that I say something that will injure people, that will hurt people, that will offend people, that will make people angry. And I don't want to do that. Did you understand? So, going back to the issue of what Emmanuel Ken said, the narrative I have given to you about Moses now is something that you, you look into it, you understand what he means by private. Private religion is a private matter because the dream, the vision you saw, I was not there. If I'm trying to convince you to stop you and you warn me and say, my friend, stop. You don't know what you're talking about. And I continue. The next thing that will happen will be a conflict between me and you. Why? Because something that you are well convinced and something that you have a revelation that I was not there, I am trying to make you a fool. You will not be happy with me. You will do me anything if, if, if care is not taken. To make sure I get out of your sight. Now, the same Emmanuel Kent is somebody who, a man who said he advised the church to not mingle with activities of the politics, and he advised the the politicians and the government not to mingle in the church, in the issue of the church. Why he was saying it is a matter of. A thing of faith, he said, is a private issue. He suggested that if we are to bring somebody into our own religion, for example, a Muslim will tell me why he felt that his own religion is of utmost importance and what benefit am I going to derive in this religion. What are the benefits I'm going to get becoming an Islamic member? A Christian also will tell me the benefit that I'm going to get before, if I become a Christian. Alright? And I will look into it, understand it, convinced inside me by the spirit that what you are telling me is the truth then i will accept it that's what emmanuel Kent said let not the issue of religion be by force intimidating people it is no longer a free will did you understand if you tell me that tomato tomato fresh tomato give some vitamins, vitamin C, or orange give vitamin C. You have to explain to me what is inside the orange that is giving the vitamin C. If you can convince me and give me all the, the, the elements that is inside the orange that can give me the vitamin C and tell me the importance of vitamin C inside my body, my own body. Did you understand me? It will not give me conviction because I need that thing, that, that vitamin C, because it's going to do what? 
boost my immune system. You must convince me the health benefit of vitamin C before you want me to buy the vitamin C from you or the start taking or form the habit of taking vitamin C. That is the way Emmanuel Kent suggested that the issue of faith and Christianity or Islam or other religions should be. It should not be something that you force somebody. If you force me to become a Hindu and you put chain on me, or become a Christian and you put chain on me, or you tell me to become a member of Islamic religion and you put chain on me, listen, if I am not convinced, the day that that chain will break, I will run away, I will not stay there. Because I am not convinced. And first of all, you are forced to me to become a member of your religion, whichever religion you people have now. Your force is taking away the liberty of man, the free will that God has given to man. Did you see? So therefore, it is not necessary for any religion, whether Christianity, whether Muslim, whether Hindu, whether, whether sect or whatever uh, you, religion you can be, even if you are a member of court or Amok or Freemans in, or or members of a great, great message, or member of a grand lodge, or member of a ikanka. Or you don't need to force somebody to become a member of your religion. It must be by convention, by the spirit, with true free will and liberty. Ah, I will join you. But first of all, you have to tell me the benefit. So. I want to say also that Uchemefo himself, who took offense, did not do anything wrong. Yes. His understanding of what Mazikan have said about churches and the men of God and Christians. Remember in 2013 that Uchemefo fell out with the Mazikano while they are having live broadcast that we are listening, everybody's listening. What happened then? They were Mazikano wasn't talking and explaining about uh, Christianity and about uh, uh, idol worshipping and about uh, uh, Christ and all the rest of it being European God. And he mentioned something about Catholic Church, about Reverend Fathers, if I'm not mistaken. And what happened is that because Suchemefo is a Catholic and he is doing this the job with the Mazekano, so he felt that Mazekano is abusing his religion, he took offense and began to raise voice and said that this thing should stop, all right? I tested him and bossed him, the messenger. I called him as well. I said, I understand what you are doing, defending your faith, it is right, but please, you people are in public broadcast, live broadcast. Don't continue, but maintain your word, stand on your faith, because it is not good for a leader like Mazikano to be exclusive in religion. Only the one he wants, he, wa he can talk good of. It is not good in this struggle. It is going to destroy the struggle. Then I dismiss you, I cut off the phone. So, you know, if you are a Christian and the Mazikan always come out to talk about church, condemn church, talk about tithe and offering, talk about money collection, to me, it doesn't make sense. And it will not lead us anywhere. It will not. God Almighty knows it will not lead us anywhere. It will divide us. 
That's why Emmanuel can say it is a private matter. Because he don't know what I'm benefiting from my God. He don't know what God is doing for me. He don't know that even for me to come out to join you in the struggle, it's God that, that God you are criticizing, I believe 100% is the one that protects me, keep my life up until this time before, even give me the strength to join you, give me conviction to join you. Now, how can I be following you and you are ridiculing my God, condemning my God? It is not fair now. We must be rational. Eh? I believe that when we became born again newly, eh, there is all this uh, sentiment or this, uh, uh, this mindset that we have that is only us. Every other person will go to hell. Every other people will go to hell. It's only from my religion that they will not go to hell. But that perception began to change when people, when I start to get matured, I find out that there is dubious people also on that is in Christianity. There are people who are, have criminal tendencies. There are people who are manipulating, collecting money from people unnecessarily in the name of the Lord, and they are not using that money. If you go and read the Bible from Genesis even to Malachi, which is the last book of, uh, of, of, uh, of uh, Old Testament, God talk about justice. Anytime God is talking about justice in the Bible, he's talking about looking after the widows, looking after the poor, looking after the marginalized, looking after, uh, after the, the voiceless people. Standing against injustice and doing justice. That's only what God's message is. He, then why is it that the, the men of God of today, they are not applying that principle? Why is it? Okay, let's assume, assume that that one is the Old Testament, that we are in the new era now, that, uh, okay, Bible says that if any man being Christ is a new creature, everything, uh, all things pass away. All things makes new. All things makes new. Are you still sitting inside the church? Stealing. Some people raping women inside the church. Some pastors calling uh, another man's wife and sleeping with them. All right? Is it the right thing? It's not the right thing to do. But one thing we should understand is that the problem of humanity is not about religion. It's not about your religion. It's all about human character and principle. The problem of man is about sin. Simple. That's why Jesus Christ came. Jesus Christ did not come because in the world, in the world, in the politics, in this in the in the uh, in the academic sectors they call it ethics they call it ethics what is ethics wrong and right wrong and right how to distinguish what when you do something they say is this thing you did is ethical that means is a normal way of doing something when they say something is in, in ethical that means it is a wrong way of doing something right. Something that's supposed to be right, you do right, you want to do right, but you do it in the wrong way. For example, it's unethic to go to, you are working in a factory, in a company, and you take the pens and paper, pack the papers, A4 papers, because you have a printing machine in your house, and you go and keep it in your house to be printing, printing something. It's a, they call it an ethic act. But in the, in the Bible, Jesus called it a sin. So ethic and the Bible terminology is the same. Okay, this is in ethics, wrong way of doing something. Okay, this is sin, wrong way of doing something. They are saying the same thing. But when we begin to look at religion to be a, an avenue of judgment, to people, like for example, Muslim. I have a Muslim friend here in Cork, many of them. They tell you killing is wrong, no matter what, killing is wrong. They tell you so many things that a good Muslim should not do, right? Then now you look at into it now, when you see something happen, oh, there is suicide bomb and they kill somebody somewhere. 
this person is a Muslim, he say those people who are killing other people, or send the imam who is sending somebody to go and kill, why not imam go and die for himself and with his wife before telling other people to go? Did you see now? It is understanding and principle that some people have made up principle, good principle of their life that this is the way I want to live my life. I cannot change it. You cannot change me. I cannot emulate your evil way. All right? Some people, whether the seed is ripe or not ripe, pluck it. Let's eat it. It doesn't matter. All right? Whether they, they step on you or they, they, they use their car, knock you down and drive away, it doesn't matter. You are nothing to them. This is human problem. All right? It is a human problem. So what we are saying now, what I'm trying to say, the reason why I'm making this video, Mazi Kanon always said that, in 2013, we, when I was a European rep, we went to a meeting and the Mazikano asked us, can you express your observation of our struggle? Is our struggle going well? Is there any area we are not doing very fine or any area we can improve? My observation is making reference with Immanuel Kent. I told Mazi that religion, criticism of pastors, calling them names, generalizing or calling Jesus an European idol, that it is not good. We need pastors, reverend, bishop, name them in this struggle. Because what is our focus? Freedom. What is our focus? Freedom. Emancipation of our people from bondage. The Bible said in the house of God, there are vessels, diverse vessels. There are vessels of honor. There are vessels of dishonor. For example, this is an example of vessel. This two pen in my hand. One is red, red. The left one that I have in my left hand is what? Black. There is something that this red pen is needed for, mostly to highlight points or topic of whatever or sub or heading or subheading. Why are you using red? To enable you to navigate to the things you wrote down. When you look at it, your eye go first of all on the red, showing the title, subtitle, and subtitle, and subtitle, right? Then this one, write something that follows the subtitle or the title. The content of the title and the content of the subtitle is what you use the, this one to write. In this very channel where I am broadcasting live to you now, this pen, two of them, have imp are important, they are vessels. Look at it here. They have colors. This red and the red line, these are highlighting the important thing that, are they not part of this thing that I'm doing? Are they not part of this program? They are part of this program. Would I say, oh, the black is more important than red, or that black is not needed, or that red is not needed? Would I say the, this laptop that I'm using is more important than the mouse that I use to click on hyperlinks that I needed to navigate? Or would I say the phone that I will use to uh, get a course from you if you want to call and we have interaction will i say oh this 
this phone is not important or even the lead the wire that i am using to connect it to the speaker will i say the wire is not important if i don't have it this thing doesn't have bluetooth wireless to connect me so wire is important all right the microphone if i don't have it here will you be able to be hearing my voice so you see that the bible says in the house of god there are vessels of honor there is also vessels of dishonor but sometimes we look into the honor and the dishonor we look into we let down on dishonor there are virtue that is in dishonor there are also virtue in honor if you come to honor the virtue is higher in degree if you if you come to that vessel of dishonor the virtue is middle or lower but it does not irrelevant very important did you see it so when we combine all of these vessels we have together we'll be able to become a strong force a strong force look at ants as little they are hmm? they have very gigantic uh, um, insect they kill they can't carry no none of them can carry it alone even the the big ant the, the the giant king ant they can't carry it alone what they do is all of them both a tiny one they will put together this one will be coming from the back pushing it this one from the corner this one from this corner the other one from the front dragging it using back the sliding back it will take them time but all they want is to drag that food into their heart to go and store it for the rainy day the issue of Biafra is what I said to Mazikano in that 2013 about what David Emmanuel Kent said. He said that people are important in every area or sectors of life. The government have their important oh, monitoring and managing the economy of the society. So therefore, he said, do not mingle into the church and try to pervert the church. The church, do not go and be killing people to force them into your own uh, uh, denomination because you, you, want, you want to control them. No, it must be by reasoning, logic. You tell me why I should be in your church and your denomination. If I am convinced, I will follow you go to the denomination. If I go there, what you tell me, I did not observe it, I did not see it, I will say walk away. So now, in the issue of Biafra, I told Mazikano, the important thing is us focusing in what? Justice. Injustice. That are the language we, he is supposed to be using always, and the white people will be looking at him. They will be listening properly. Equity. Inequity. Marginalization. Killing with impunity. All right? Strangulating of our business. Exclusive governance that uh, the presidency of Nigeria is practicing today. Eh? Discrimination to the highest order. Police killing with impunity. These are the things, even when I was doing, last year I was doing the, um, the political science and philosophy of science. We were told, lecturer, who is lecturing us, if you want to go to, into politics, if you are a sincere man, you have a principle, there are languages you must not leave it for a second. It will become an oration for you. It will become a statement, constant statement. Oh, you must stop this injustice. Oh, you must look after the poor. Look at our people. Why are we following Nandekano? Why is everybody trying to follow him? He is speaking the mind of the populists, the people. Nandekano is a populist. 
is not a main, he's not a politician, he's not a mainstream politician. That's why he could speak whatever he wants to speak. He doesn't care because nobody's feeding him, nobody's giving him money. He's not receiving from anybody. If he is a mainstream politician, they give him money. He can no longer talk about justice. Have you seen where our politicians are talking about justice, about equity or inequity? Have you seen where they are coming to talk about uh, uh, how you are marginalizing a poor? Or how you... Yeah, uh, because they are not doing it. You, and the, uh, if you... Um, bribe is like a, a tunnel tape. They use it to slow tape your mouth. Bribe and corruption is like a solo tape. They slow tape your mouth. You cannot speak anymore. Right? Now, if you are speaking the truth... As a man of truth, you are defending the poor, and we are following you. Suddenly, just like two hunters or three hunters, we went into the bush to hunt. And uh, you go this way, I go this way, this person go to the, sun, the center looking for one animal that escaped us. And eventually, we came at a train junction of road, and um, one person began to tell the two people that you are smelling ghosts. You are smelling like a ghost. You are smelling like a ghost. You are smelling like a spirit. The other person will say, what are you talking about? I say, you are smelling like a ghost, Mr. Man. Like a ghost. Eh? The two people, they will be angry. Eh? They will desert the hunting. So, they buy we should not do this because it's not going to help us. You see, in this struggle, you are shawo, in our bashaw, now batego. Okay, what about? And when you go preach, you know what? Let's ma more so Jesus or touch the guy. He will cause a shawo because na shawo ne nyege go. Eh? For the issue of this freedom, I need to go We need a shawo. Do rep. I would also have you seen one of the movie. Man, I'm a fan of also. I also know do rep. I go na. I go na. I go na. I do rep. Eh? I go na. 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 They are told, I will resort to Angola. I jail or send the flani over. Biwa, I have a little cool thing about Sarapuna now. No need to talk about Sarapuna until I get a beer. A woman in a gang robber, a criminal robber, in a baby, now about the mad neighbor. But he will be able to go about it. Give him that and that was an and that flani na be cutai, eh? If you have to go to one now, you know, no, 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 they, that we have three locations of uh, uh, Flani uh, 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 camp. Eh? Native doctor Abia, see Naya, 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 sorry, is on our two ago. Eh? Even Naga, what the native doctor, more than all my own now. Yaga, go here now. I hear one draw here. I hear one draw here. Okay, I hear one draw here. Or touch, I will do it. Eh? O tu aha bo na ma ha ba da ta. Ndi di bi a ni no na ni bo ha fo ta. Mo wa na gwa ge. Aga me discriminate. Ha fo ta. Bi a me la ya na gwa. A ku kwa wa nju o hea. Ha me ya me ti cha ya. Eh? Nde fu la ni ba ta ni mo la anye. Na he o hea ye. O ju tu ha. Ha to no ba ke. Bolo na ma ha. La wa chi we. Ha. Anya ha ge e do ha. Nte le ha a gute na zari ya. Wan na. It has been media. Yeah, science in the only a guy as you know, they must stop that money. Got John here because now I'm not getting it. 
wale hu na aga no kuru ainso mba aga bia aga bia ana ato ga wan ato ga ana enyu chaba enyu cha nya na cho to age me ke save life obu no onye bibia na no no onwe me bibia na agwo pata ona agwo zaza na umu aka oka hi hi na ahu oka hi hi na ahu agba ha egbe egba ga epu ha galinda wo sande nde flani aga anya na ihe dika eh eh bel to bel to bel ihe kere ke kere ke nya na ona fa aka ha nya ju enolu that's why o ja we na agba ha egbe egba na aba ha igbo ha mama ha as no so sa si di wo ha la ha si di asis de pete ha because asis a choge ma asis da choge ma me woro me gogo e wata go ai choro de ndi ahu ka ha futa bia join ha de de biafra so ge wan onwe ge wo onyisi ekwesi ge ga na ge discriminate with ndi ahu because na onwe uzo ha baruru eh na inha inha me mai na oburu pastor ha fu pastor na ego na collect na church because you could get away from that in that kingdom come, you can't get away from that in that kingdom come. Religion and faith is a thing, is a private thing. Eh? If you imagine that you can't get away from that, that man, now, but saka 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 saka, not all that tight. Why not? But we can't stop me to tight. Because of what? I know the importance of tight. I know why I'm paying the tight. Pastor did not put rope in my waist to come and drag me to the church to, 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 to give him tight. The only thing I could do, if I look at a pastor, and the pastor is not using the tight now in our church now properly, I will walk away from that church. I will not give him the tight. I will walk away. I can decide to give the, the tight money to the, to the beggars on the street. The money you are giving to the church is for charity. But they are not using it. So, Pastor, Bishop, Reverend, Reverend, Mahindana, or Reverend, oh, my Reverend Mohana, Eberio Maka, Manaha, Anohani, Illuminati, Mahana Gokumo, Mahana Ga, Elibe, Mon, over the Hine Kukwe now. Nihine Kukweao, Taini Neji Kwa Kono, where Chowanta. Wewe ike buwe anwa na abia kutaye na abia, abia alo sayongo. He? Eh? Oburu, um, on your politician tomorrow, no katara chine ke metu ya kano bi oche area, ochogi, ochogi ibia gosi, ne ya supporto kwa la ni yun neme, opundenshali. But in the secret, wana, onyegi check of two billion, ike kukula, ika kakuwe ni anono, See, I am in a whole nature. So each of us will be afraid. You must come open. Everything must be open. My brother, it's not everything that is always open. No. If everything is open in this world, people will not be succeeding. There are things that are secret. That you make it secret is not because you are bad. It is wisdom. Go and tell a criminal that you you put three billion in your house. Go and ask it. And for here in this country, Omo guy, we we don't pour kubia kute the no law. Nago the ego guy, even a by self. Eh? So we need a pastor. We need all your women. All your women, all your nabafa. We need all of them for this very struggle. So a leader like Mazen Nande Kano, people will not expect you to come and be talking about church generalizing but i said i did not understand it that way because i follow the narrative until the time e bakara baka there is no one na aga na church no ga go kumu that in hebrews of kwo ihe mere no onye onye le pere chineke ji na atugbu onwe na se ba asuro ko hu nwa bebi nwa bebi nwa bebi ekpuri ekpuri onwe mmo nwa na kpo ba e wuru mma eh Muro mani zog. E inwe na diki inwe bebi. Mwo mwondo ozo na bi kenke ya wa wo. Ona aga. Ka 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 wapa. Na ana ego. Yota ko. Muro mma. So. E pasto. Aga hu muro mani me asrok. Megini. Fota. Sheke foto. Sheke aka. Se foto uti. Aro kwa wo. Oye mazen nande kane kune ku. Aro. Ni hon chuku ni hon mani. 
Eh? Ayo gahafo. Ayo gahafo. Pastor na gera e. Hamba ni mu leba. Ere gwa ya notoro. Hafo ta. They come out. They, if they enter as rock, they have sold out. They come out. Then, are we going to... Uh, Mazen and the can is telling them that uh, they are evil. They are evil. Do you know that any man that sees a wicked person or evil person and condone evil without speaking it out, you are a complicit. You are supporting the evil. The policeman in Missouri, eh? that police head department, the journalist was asked, we are asking him, sir, what do you think about this man that killed this man? He says it's a murder case. It's very wrong. He said, what of the other three policemen that were standing there with him? He said, their silence means their complacence. He said that if a word has been uttered, it will make a change of mind to the man holding the guy on the ground, the jo holding George Floyd on the ground. That life would have been saved every day. But, but because they supported him, they are complacent. They are the same with the man. Now, that take me to the, to the Bible, Paul the Apostle, when he was telling, admonishing Moses. Moses was like a teenager when he became, Moses, you read in the Bible, it's like a teenager. He's a teenager when he became the pastor. Eh? Paul was in, encouraging him, don't let the people, the people with the gray hair to intimidate you. Don't let people to mislead you in your faith. Don't take shit from them. Stand on the word that I have preached to you. Eh? He said to them, to him, if any man come to you and bring not the same gospel and try to delude you, do not give him God's speed. That means do not encourage him. Do not accept, accept him. Paul was very angry that he was among the people who stoned Stephen to death. Did you understand me? He said when they were stoning the Stephen, the Sahindrans and all these, uh, all these Pharisees, I was helping them holding their garments so that they would take balance enough to stone this man. I was there. He, why is he saying it? Because he's truthful. He knew quite all right that what he did that time was wrong. Now tell me the men of God that enter into Asherah. Paul is saying, if any man come to you, live to speak this truth, to reveal wickedness, to condemn evil, and be trying to meddle things, do not accept him into your house. He said, don't bring that man even into your house. But uh, Adebo, you have gone to dine the, with, the, with, the, with, the, with the Satan in Asherah. Come on you. Is preaching to us, Nigeria. The reason why Kumuyi is preaching not to us, every time he will go to the east, he worry, go to River State or Abia State. Nigeria must be united. Nigeria must be indivisible. Nigeria will, must not divide. Why? They have sent the envelope money. And he think when he was coming, because he did not carry uh, Ghana must go. From backyard, they have already put it in the boot. From backyard. Sometimes even this presidency, they will try to wire them. They will not give you into the, in the back. They will give you into wire into your account so that tomorrow, if you want to talk rubbish in the pulpit, that is the reason why they are not talking. Because when he is giving them money, he will give them principle of uh, the, the guardian principle of his of of his governance. Any day you talk any shit about this government, you will vomit that money and you are throwing. I will kill in jail. So, when the man of God decided to die with the devil, he become the man of the devil, then he will, he will see his member murdered in cold blood and he will not talk. This is what the man Nandekan is talking about. I don't mean that he, that he is saying that every pastor, every child of God, I'm a child of God. He's not saying that all of us will go to hell. But he said, every one of you that go to church every Sunday, sit with this man. That all of you will go to hell. That's what he was saying. All right? And I said that which may fall well, who rise up and misunderstood what he said and reinterpreted it? Well, another way around. 
He's right. Mazikan would have not used every Christian. It is a universal language. Generalizing, there are Christians, millions of them across the globe who are good, even Nigeria. The real Christian don't even talk. The Nigeria and Aboko is not their business. They know already the Bible have told us that there will be tribulation, there will be cheating, there will be killing. People will murder you because of me. Jesus said it. They will kill you because of me. They will hate you because of me. So a Christian already knows these things. The reason why so many Christians are also following Nanda Kano, let me make it clear. It's not that those Christians are stupid. They understand the importance of what is fighting. They know that some of the things he says, he is saying it because he's an unbeliever. He's an unbeliever. A true child of God will be praying for him like we are, like I do, that God will make him not to be making mistake. Let me tell you, do you know that there is a lot of forces chasing on and can even including me, anybody that is making video and, and rebuking people? Do you see the picture of Martin Nandekano that we saw many, a few years ago? Uh, they make, uh, they put it in a frame and put it in the, in the, in the present of uh, Oracle. Do you know that the Pentecostal church is superheaded by Adeboyo and the Kumum? They delegated pastors and the ministers and members every last Friday of the moon that they will be praying that Thomas and Nana will die in the prison, that he will not succeed in dividing Nigeria. Did you not see the other day, Reverend Imam, pastors, G.O., they fasted for 40 days that they are against anything that will destroy or separate Nigeria. Do you know how many spells, invocation people are doing against him? But it's in vain because of what? He's standing on the judgment seat of God. God has called him. God is the one who knows what is right. And what is wrong? And do you know also that God can use somebody like Mazikan or Mu, Muma or you? Does not mean that you are so special than any other people. God can use you for a purpose of destroying you after He used you. Look at what He said to Pharaoh: Be "For this purpose, I raise you to destroy you." I raise you to use you against my children. I raise you to, to, to treat them, to, to humiliate them. It is a, a training that I've raised you to, to train my children, but to kill you when I finish with you. But I pray that that will not be his lot. Because the Bible says, it is a fearful thing for one to fall into the hands of the Almighty. A very fearful thing. Very fearful thing for us to say that the, the Son of God is an idol. For us to say that the Son of God give him all manner of name. I see people do, hearing Bible because of Biafra. I always tell them if you see, if you say that Judaism is the way to go, keep to it. If you are a Christian, my advice to you, like which I may try to defend himself, defend yourself oh, because Jesus said, if you are ashamed of me, to defend me when men are ridiculing me, in the day of judgment, I'll be ashamed to defend you. In the presence of my father and his angels. We know that the Bible is the truth. Anybody who tells you that the Bible is not the truth is wasting his time. And it's it's very pitiful situation for that individual. I can't help him. Right? You can insult God. He doesn't move God. God is not offended 
by insult. Neither is he overwhelmed by your praises. No, he said, life and death is in my hand. Wherever I wish, I give. And nobody have the power to question me. So I would want to advise our leader, Mazen Nandekano, for this misunderstanding because I saw in the um, Facebook a lot of people voicing negatively and saying, oh, uh -huh. go ahead, continue saying this, continue saying that. And now you have come with, to your senses. Before you wanted to be a, a, a servant of a command and control. But the next day, glory be to God, which I'm for, was life broadcasting. Shame is to the devil. I want to tell you if you are a Biafran and you are a Christian, pray for Mazen Nandekano. If that man, God's hand is not in him, he would have been a dead man by now. So many attacks. So many oracles, so many altars, so many men of God uh, chamber. His photo, they are calling his name. But it is you and me who are standing on the positive side that will be praying and countering whatever they want to do. Let me tell you one thing. You see, power, power, they say power is vibratory. Vibration, that is the way power grows. And these people who believe that they can project or cast spell, their power is irrelevant. We are practice all those things. Do you know that if you believe in the Lord, Jesus Christ, you see the power? What the forces we are seeing, we say that somebody have harmed you, and somebody they put charm that your leg legs are rotten and now it's incurable. It's only using negativities, negative vibration, negative energy, and with a spoken word and command, the spirit will catch it and use it. Because the spirit are, they are innumerable, innumerable. They are everywhere on the air. The moment you do something, let's say, bring candle, some certain candle or incense and put it, light the incense, depending on the type of incense, because there are good incense as well, and light it in your house. The atmosphere changes immediately. The forces around will smell it. They will come into your room. You come into your room. You make your enchantment. You, you call somebody's name, project. Pian. You see the person falling trap. To one sickness, to one disease, to accident or something. But what we have as Christian is greater than what we use when I was in the world. Because number one, they will spend money. Buying all this, buying all that, buying this, uh, uh, there is a binta, there is one they call binta scent. Those binta scent, these are demonic scent that you, you use to invoke spirit or dead body, or dead body spirit. But the name of Jesus, you don't need to spend any money, only by faith. The reason why people are following you, Papa Deboye today, I got to be at their shout, Hallelujah! They are completely blindfolded that they don't know that the man have joined Illuminati. He has a wand, a wand, Mbaka, Mbaka. Focus, 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 and ask God whatever you want. Ah, Jesus, have mercy on me. The Bible says, at the mentioning of the name of Jesus, if you want anything from my father, ask through my name. Is it not what Jesus told us? Is it not what Abdobe and Kumuni have been preaching to us? Why focus now and ask God? Where is the, the, the staff coming from? 
It's not a thing of the day. But what I'm telling you is that we need as Christian to stand boldly and defend this man that died on the cross for us. The Bible says, God have highly exalted the name of Jesus above every name. That at the mentioning of the name of Jesus, every name shall bow. Do you know why he said it? Everything, both ants, both trees, both grasses, they have name. Anything you can think of will have name. And uh, God now chooses a name to counter every name that will raise ugly head. The moment they go to native doctor, the moment they do say, in the name of Jesus, I command the blood of Jesus to destroy this nonsense. In a tinkle of an eye, it's gone. Have you been in a situation where people are going to native doctor? Now to go borogo, now to go borogo, now to go borogo. Eh? Releasing all manner of uh, all, all spells on you. And they could not get you, and they come to you and be asking people to go and ask you the type of uh, organization or secret court where you belong. We don't know the name, the power that is in the name of Jesus Christ. I see some Christians, people who claim to be Christian, tearing Bible because of Biafra. Biafra is very important to, to me. Biafra will give me salvation of man made. Salvation, earthly salvation. But we are talking about the salvation that Jesus is talking is not about becoming a millionaire or a billionaire tomorrow, which is so many of the church, they have derailed. They are worshipping Mormon spirit, idol, money, money. The spirit, that name you call money is Mormon. The first currency, the first money that was produced on this earth was dedicated to spirit called Mormon. 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 That money, Mormon, is a vibration where they bring the name money. So if you trust in money, you are worshipping idol spirit, evil spirit. That's why Jesus, when they talk about this money, say, man cannot serve God and Mormon. Jesus knew, nobody told him that the money, first money was sacrificed to a spirit called Mormon, the spirit of Mormon. He is God himself. He said you cannot serve him and serve Mormon at the same time. He did not call it money. He said Mormon, the original name of money, Mormon. Some of you think that uh, blessings, riches, shows that you are a child of God. It is not. Neither do poverty show that you are, you are the child of God. No. It's a principle that you must keep. Practical. Practical principle that you must observe throughout your life. In the day you die, that's the only way you can see God. So I'm going to stop here. All I'm saying is that uh, we should be praying for Mazen and the Kano, and we should advise him as well. A lot of people are watching, even the people who are not members of IPOB, they are watching. And uh, there, so many people are interested in what he's doing. But let him know that he is a father, a prime minister of He's a prime minister of a Muslim in our society, a prime minister of Christian in our society, a prime minister of uh, uh, Judaism in our society, a prime minister of uh, even Akuna in our society, a prime minister of uh, a native doctor, a prime minister of uh, Oboni, Amok, Freemason, a uh, uh, great law, great, great message, Ikanka, any manner of religion. A man of his own caliber should not be exclusive to a particular religion. It will be a disaster. That message he changed some time ago and saying that Biafra come, anybody will worship what he want to worship. Let him continue doing that message. Let him never any day even talk of promoting Judaism. Because we have enemies that is fighting us, are trying to capitalize on errors and try to use this error to create a bad atmosphere. And we, 
if we raise conflict within ourselves on a religious matter, if that means the Fulani have defeated us. We should avoid anything that will bring this. Anytime, Mazikan, you go on the broadcast, write the things you, will, you don't want to say and keep it in your front so that it will guide you not to say things that will create grievances and offense to other people. Everybody, everybody wants to follow you. A lot of people, even the people who are envious just because that you are in that position, they still admire what you do. If you ask them, they'll say, oh, I love that man, but, uh, but, uh, but, uh, but uh, some people, because of the money involved, they don't want to contribute. People man love money so much. They don't want to belong. Some people, oh, because if I show myself, oh, if I go to Nigeria now, to this, for this house I want to build, this is three decades I'm building now. Eh? Uh, the police, uh, military, or immigration might stop me and take me to Abuja. But we don't give a shit. We don't give a damn. I will, monkey say every nearest bush is a home. Myself, this country is my home. They are not pursuing me tomorrow. Eh? I'm citizen. But we still need that home. That's why we are making our effort. That's why we are doing what we are doing. That's why I'm wasting up to more than one hour plus now, talking to you. Yes. Is anybody paying me? Nobody's paying me. But the time shall come, oh, you must support me. Oh. I'm telling you the truth because uh, I use internet. I came back from England the other day. I was locked up there because of COVID-19. I came back, telephone, everything cut off because I didn't pay. Right? But I pay now. That's why I'm doing this video now. For two weeks or more than, I've not been active again. So, time shall come, I'll be asking you, must donate to by God's grace, by force, by fire, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. So, my brothers and sisters, um, if you want to call us today and give us your own view, I'll stop here. But I want to say, in the nutshell, if you look at my, my narratives today, I did not come to crucify Mazikan or blame Uchemefo. I tried to be rational, to, 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 because I won't, we are all one, we are all brother. We should not allow the, we have a lot of enemies. There are people that are talking about restructuring. They know they are not going to get the restructuring, but they are saying restructuring, restructuring until they call them and again and pay money into the account. For sometimes you will not hear their voice again. They go inside the house. Tomorrow, when their pocket is dry, they come out and say restructuring, 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 restructuring. You see, this is life of a man. This is a human, human, human degradation, human depression, hmm? the brevity, the brevity of man. That is it. Man lower himself down too much because of uh, crumbs, because of little, little things. But there are some people who have made up their mind as a man of integrity, they want to maintain principles. So anything you can do, anything we can do to make sure that this struggle continue, uh, we, we will continue. You see, my sometimes I become so antagonistic, I'll come out and say something. Some people will call me and say, Evangelist B, calm down. That the thing you said the other day, I love your video, but you wouldn't have said this. I would. I'm taking precautions. I'm taking advice from them. I'm trying to modify the way I communicate to you because I love you. Biafra keep me active. Anytime we talk about Biafra, everybody's bodies and heart gingers up. So I encourage you to pray for Mazen Nagmakano, pray for Uchemefo, and let us also advise Kano, like, send this video to him, let him watch it. If you think what I'm saying here is, doesn't make sense, well, let him continue in whichever way he wants. But I know that there are forces, forces, I can call, there are too many, there are numerous. There are numerous, I mean. Huh? There are numerous. Multiple forces. That's what we are fighting for. Because Biafra is a thing between life and death. A thing is a fight between light and darkness. 
is like Donald Trump. Kano in Nigeria, in Zoo, is like Donald Trump in America and in the world. All 99.99% .99 of politicians, mainstream medias, hate Donald Trump. Why? God brought him. God brought him. Anything of God, the devil will fight him. Why is it so many people hating Nandikan? Even in the midst of all the good things, all the sacrifices, mother, father, being exiled. Some people say, why are you going to exile? You should have been here. Because they want him to be killed. So that they would be like, oh, he's ended. He wanted, they say Mandela was exiled. Too many people. A lot of people go exile. Some people are in exile, overthrow government and came back and take the power. So a hero is not a man who died in the war front. A hero is somebody who come back with his head to come and give stories of the war. That is a hero. We can honor the dead as a hero because they fight. They said instead of them to lose what they are, it's better they put their blood. We can call them a hero. But the most hero is somebody who went to war, came back alive. When he's talking story, he will talk the story even for the for the dead. But the dead cannot speak for himself anymore. You see? So um I will going to stop here. Please, if you if you watch this video, share it everywhere. Everywhere shareable. I want people to hear my opinion, how I address this issue so that the enemy will be put to shame. Alright? We are going to jubilate in no less than time by god's grace god will put victory song in our mouth the number to call is plus three five three eight nine nine four seven triple zero four plus three five three eight nine nine four seven Triple zero four plus three five three eight nine nine four seven zero 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 four. If you have anything that bothers you, you want us to hear your voice and said, This is what I think about what you said. You can call us and give your opinion. But if you cannot call, sorry about that, but help us to share this video. Share it to Instagram. Share it to, the WhatsApp, to your WhatsApp. Share it to the Messenger. Copy the link. Share it to Telegram. Share it also in YouTube. Share it in, you, in Facebook. And if you are my fan, you are following me in Facebook because for quite a while now, I've been restricted by Facebook. I can't post, I can't comment, I can't like. I can only watch whatever that come across the way. I cannot make contribution until the 30th of this month. Please, I want you to follow me in Instagram, Banago at Instagram, E-A-R-N-A-G-O-R-H, Banago, Instagram. Please, if you are on Instagram, try to follow me so that we connect. If you are in Twitter, you can follow me also in BC Radio 1 News. Type it and find it in Twitter. Or you can follow me in Banago123. Have Twitter, two Twitter handles, my private Twitter and the program Twitter, BC Radio One News. I want you to be diversified because Facebook is a sensor uh, mechanism, is a media of censorship. Right now, if you see, it's not only me. There is a Christian Bible version they call in UK, they call you version. I saw last Last three weeks, they said that they sent Bible verse in Facebook. They say it's against their policy. They block them. They are blocking so many people. I want you also to look for another 
alternative don't depend on facebook because facebook will mess you up i will talk about that in a special time uh, there is alternative uh, social media that i want you to go and register when i will make that video you try to familiarize yourself with it so that when facebook will want to mess you up you'll be able to divert to keep on and connecting with your contacts those that we is in your contact because you know the facebook we have formed habits and some people have formed so much habit that when they block them they it's like madness so you must look for an alternative i'm going to make video about alternative social media platform that you can use and i learned that one of our brother want to uh, bring out his own i wish i could do it i would do it in the future i will do it by the special grace of god uh, because uh, if we are depending on the Nishocha, Nocha, uh, they will finish us, in fact. So if there is any way we can make up things in our own, we can chat with our community, we can do things. I'm not saying to isolate them, because we need to, we need to mix with the people as well, to get ideas and knowledge. But Facebook is not too much good for you right now, because it's a censorship, and... Um, it is it's emotionally draining people. People never knew that it will be this way. Some people might even die because of Facebook. So look for an alternative. This is BC Radio 1 News coming live to you from the Republic of Ireland. And uh, I am your messenger, your host, Evangelist B. BC Radio 1 News stand for the truth. BC Radio 1 News stand for Biafran Christian Radio 1 News. We are here to bring you discussion, gospel of Christ, message of redemption, message of deliverance and liberation. Tomorrow, by God's grace, I'm going to make another video about Trump. Donald Trump. Donald Trump and Mazen Nandekano. I'm going to make a video about it tomorrow by the special grace of God by 3 p.m. And um, I want to bring you information about Donald Trump and how important is it that we encourage people we know to vote Donald Trump because every forces of darkness is rising. And that man is defending Judaism, defending Muslim, defending Christianity, defending every man of faith, of any faith. But the Illuminatis and Satanisms, they want him to be dead. But we are praying not will happen. He will succeed the second time. So once again, please share this thing to your friends and relatives. And some of you that make comment, I will look into your comment because, you know, this vision problem. I have the phone that I can go and check all your comments. Yes. But not doing it here now because of vision impairment. So if you want to call us, the number to call once again is plus three five three eight nine nine four seven zero 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 four. Plus three five three eight nine nine four seven triple zero triple zero four plus three five three eight nine nine four seven triple zero four. If you want to call us, if you want to air your opinion as regards to today's broadcast, you are welcome to do so. And in the midst where there is no any telephone call we are going to call it a day for today's very meeting and i want to use this opportunity to thank each and every one of you that have spent your time watching i say may god almighty the invisible and immortal 
God keep you, bless you, your wife, your children, your husband. We shall continue until when we enter into our land that flow with milk and honey. Then may God Almighty keep on each and every one of you. And I would like to see you tomorrow. Pray for me as well that I will master this media something properly so that I will be giving you informations and bringing you gospel of Christ and gospel of Biafra. Thank you and God bless you. From here, Island Cock. See you tomorrow.